Spirits of the Fallen If you head into battle while connected to the network, spirits representing other players' past battles may appear on the map. Yellow spirits appear where many allied units have fallen, earn experience and bond experience by waiting in these spaces. Purple spirits appear where many foes have fallen, wait in these spaces to pick up the items they left behind. So yep, that's a holdover from three, uh, three houses. Um, I currently, apparently don't have, um, the online active on my account. I thought I did, but apparently it must have lapsed or something. Maybe my payment, uh, lapsed, but I don't think that's true, but I don't know what happened, but we can't use, uh, the online, uh, uh, elements right now. Okay. Look at that house. The gate is wide open. We'd better warn them to lock up so the corrupted don't get in. Will do. If you visit houses to warn them of danger, you may receive items or gold as a reward. To visit, move an ally to the lit space in front of a house and select visit. Watch out, foes may try to reach houses before you and destroy them. Alright, so let's take a look. Alright, so moving up to attack this guy will be in range of you, but not you. So you've got an axe. I'm ready for more. Don't miss. He just barrels through that freaking fence. All right. I mean, the iron sword just isn't useful in this case. If you have the liberation, it's just a better weapon. So we could take the iron sword off of you. Okay, let's figure out how we want to handle this side. We don't necessarily want you to take an attack from that uh, axe wielder. Yes, here. Maybe what we can do is this. Alright, so you've got fire. Emblem Celica, it is an honor. So it was your voice I heard on the way from the castle. I am glad you're here with me. I feel the same, Saline. I will fight by your side from now on. Together, we will protect that which you hold dear. Thank you. Emblem Celica wields powerful magic attacks. She is a valuable asset against corrupted foes. The Sync skill, Holy Stance, reflects some of the damage received from corrupted foes against the attacker. The Engage weapon, Seraphim, deals bonus damage to corrupted foes. Nice, okay, cool. Yep, bringing back some stuff from the other games, I like it. The Engage skill, Echo, allows a unit to initiate combat twice using a Tome at a cost of 50% damage. Initiate combat twice. It's not a dance, it, I don't think. I think it just... Yeah, it just means you get to double. Okay. But the second one's 50% damage. The engage attack Warp Ragnarok teleports the user to a space near a distant enemy and attacks with powerful magic. Oh, cool. Alright. With Celica's help, I ought to be able to reach Chloe and Louis more quickly. Yeah, man. Some cool strategies can be devised. And, um... Also, this is just gonna become a resource now. There's at least two on the map, so only... Only two units will be able to recharge their engage. How fast does that charge up initially anyway? Like, I'm wondering if, like, on these maps, I should just be triggering these earlier. We'll have to figure out where those lines are, you know? Where to? Ooh, so close. Emblem, engage! 
I feel a great power within. We have united, haven't we? My See, already a better design. I will protect my people. I will protect everyone. So that's interesting. Does every single character have a unique design for each of the emblems? If so, that's kind of crazy. That's so many designs that they probably have to come up with. Huh. I wonder if they all have unique designs or if they, they've like found a way to uh, sort of normalize that. I don't know. Seraphim, this guy. Allow your soul the rest it deserves. Yeah, Celine looks way cooler in Celica form, but I'm a little biased. I love Celica. We fight for peace. Nope. All right. So that's what we'll do. Um, who needs the experience more? You're level four, you're level five. I don't necessarily need you to take damage though, so we will do it this way. That way he doesn't take unnecessary damage. This is what I trained for. Okay, and then because of Kanto, we can, or Canter, I guess is what they call it in this one. I don't want to move here because I don't want them to use this uh, fort. Yep, can't reach her. Good. I am ready to serve. Your steward's ready. All right, so I need to be keenly aware of where the bows are that are near us. And make sure that you stay out of what that. A so, yep, scene. you're going to attack this guy. It looks like that other flyer can't reach you from here. Okay, the slim is probably more likely to be able to double. 20 damage exactly. And the javelin is ranged but wouldn't be able to kill. Cool. Simple enough. All right, now where... Oh, you don't have Cantor. <laughs> I was expecting her to have Cantor. She doesn't have Cantor. That's not how it works in this game. Cool. All right, you'll probably be going after that one next. Let us be off. Um, let's see. You only have an iron lance. You don't have a javelin. Kind of want you to use this, but yeah, I think this is the smart thing to do. Avoidance plus thirty, and you get uh, a plus ten heal each turn. You're also unbreakable. Look at that, unbreakable. So when you're in a fort, you can't be broken. Which is good, because there's a bunch of axes here. Yeah, they're definitely trying to teach us to use this. This is exactly what you're supposed to do. Zero damage. Yeah, they just simply can't do enough damage to him. <laughs> These houses are ripe for the picking. Time for a good old-fashioned village pillage. 
crystal. It's glowing. Where did you get that? It was in the ring vault. Vander found it after the battle at Lethos Castle. Why? Do you know what this is? A draconic time crystal. An artifact capable of reversing time itself. Okay, so this is how we're going to be able to turn back turns. Interesting. So this came from our enemy. So our enemies have that ability? I wonder if there's more of these floating around the world. You would think that um, whoever that dark mage was would uh, be protecting this thing a little bit better than they did, huh? There is a limit to its power, but still, it could give us a keen advantage. Time crystal, huh? So it's not just a pretty piece of jewelry. Since we have it, I suggest we put it to use. Give it a try. The Draconic Time Crystal is now available. You can use the Draconic Time Crystal to rewind and retry actions you take in battle. Select Time Crystal from the menu and use up and down to select how far back you would like to go and confirm with A. Okay. So, which button was it for that? You could just go to the menu. So I need to look at this. Turn two, units ready, 10, charges 10. There's the charges. Does that mean? Okay, so we can't go before this. So we'll use it from here on out. What I need to know is if the charges is like per turn or if it's per use. 10 is really, really generous. So I'm wondering if maybe that's um, turns. You can go back 10 turns, but let's find that out later. Um, shoot. Maybe I should have started with this first, but. Okay, so the ruffians are the ones who are going to try and pillage. So he's the one that's going to end up trying to break this house. So I may have another turn before we have to worry about that. So with that being the case, instead of hitting the house, I'm going to have you kill this mage. And I'm just going to hope that the uh, bow user doesn't move closer. <laughs> That's not a lot of damage. All right, magic is going to be the most useful against this guy. It's an armored unit. I think we've been making the right choices. This guy, uh, bringing her down here to hit a lot of those armored units, and then you up here, when you engage, you're gonna have access to um, something that will work against cavalry, so. I think we'll be in pretty good shape here. Lend me your strength. Um, I gotta remember. I don't think that the cavalry thing counts for flyers. Even though technically they're on a flying horse, I don't think that counts. I cannot afford to lose. Nice, we got a hand axe. Now this I can't trade and move. I think that the trade... No, what can I actually? Is that a free action? I don't think it is. Alright, we need to science it.
Yeah, okay. There's our answer. Um, this guy's gonna be... Yeah, he's gonna be pretty resistant. That's a weight off. So we probably won't be able to do much with Clan either. I did it! Fram got big time strong. Hey, your growths, you're getting a lot of stats, I like it. Yeah. Okay, your defense is six, your attack is 13. All right, you'll take seven damage. Put you there. We'll get through this. No. It's a hundred percent hit rate, so yep, we're going to do it. If it wasn't 100%, we'd have to uh, really consider the consequence of a possible that death a there, but... Session. And then you, go here. What's that? Monsters here? Gosh all, thanks for letting me know. You're welcome. Uh, take this. Might come in useful. Cool. Another javelin. We like it. Okay, this guy's not moving. That's good for us. What the heck? Oh. Hungry for more. Nice crit, girl. Well done. Was that sufficient? Oh, shit. Okay, that I wasn't accounting for. I didn't want that guy to move towards us. Um, and she doesn't have canter, so I can't really attack and then run. So I think you're going to have to stay here. Oh, you're not even going to get any benefits. You're a flyer. I don't know why I'm trying to use this thicket. <laughs> you don't get benefits from that. Um, you're going to have to use a Vulnerary, though. And I actually... And you're probably going to have to retreat a little. Yeah, we'll have to... F we'll, we'll look at that in a minute. Uh, we're going to have to mitigate damage with her. Why does this song remind me of The Witcher? Sounds like Witcher music, doesn't it? What's our move? I'm not complaining, I like it. <laughs> it's time, let's engage. My muscles are yours. Let's see what he can do when he's engaged. Attack and move through foes. How far does it move? Okay, that has the highest physical attack. Hit rate still remains 100. Alright, most likely it would just put you on the other side. Which we could do anyway.
Oh, the Kanto. Really low defense, five. It's a lot of damage. Your speed is 10, his speed is seven, okay. I am resolved to fight for peace. Hold on, you two. I am on my way. This is a thought. Attack is actually higher than this one. Ooh, you know, I think I misinterpreted a little bit here. I kind of thought that that was going to be an AOE the way that it showed, but it just showed you what the range of the Ragnarok would be. And uh, I probably should have made sure that this guy died, and then I would have healed with you. Now we're in a bit of danger there. So right now it's showing that this guy can attack him, but I don't know if that necessarily means he is going to I've attack to him. Because see, I think that's just showing us who uh, can be attacked. I also assume that talk is free here, but I don't know that for sure either. You have an 80% hit. You have a 76% hit. Either of them can kill you is the problem. And you can't escape. Yeah, we needed to have finished off this unit with Celica. Celine. Saline. My bad. So at this point, we're risking a 76% here. Um, okay, you know what? Actually, let's let's take a look. Twelve damage. So even healing isn't really going to protect us here. 19 damage in total, and if I use that, actually it puts me at 20 health, because these vulneraries are 15. Okay. So that would be 19 damage, right? But your defense is 5. That would be, yeah, that'd be a lot of damage to you too, but it's exactly the same. So if I use a Vulnerary, I think we'll be okay. If I did my quick math correctly, which, uh... Yeah. Okay, cool.
Can you do 11 damage? Got 73%. Alright, so what we'll do is we will... And that one's 63. Less of a chance. We're going to try that. And it landed. Which means we don't need to use our Lodestar yet. Which we can only use once per fight. I think even if we recharge on one of those circles, I still think it's only once per fight. I don't know that for sure, though. These aren't 100%. So this isn't guaranteed. Let me help. Since you're so close, let's see if you can get this uh, experience. All right, 280 chances is good. Oh, nice. You got him. Yeah, I forgot he'd be able to join in. She still gets that experience though, right? I think she did. Okay, she should have. Okay, we have time. Okay, so unless something unexpected happens over with uh, Chloe and Saline, they should be okay. By the way, I am bad at quick math, so... I am as strong as ever. Allow your soul the rest it deserves. Did I do the math wrong? No? Okay. I was gonna say. I want to help you. Good job finishing both of them. We're losing ground, are we? Well, that's easily remedied. Release the corrupted! Okay, more's coming. Enemies sometimes call in reinforcements during battle. Reinforcements often arrive from forts or the edges of the map, so be on your guard. So I don't mind that, um, unless they give them a turn um, at the same time. Let's go! Thank you for warning me. Here, use this to bring peace to our land. Okay, he can't reach yet, so... Um, and you won't be able to finish this guy yet. But... Chloe should be able to now. Well, actually, it could be a straight zero. No! Uh, she'll break. Nothing we need to do up there. Oh, you can't cross that. I did I didn't realize that was a hole. You know what? Let's live with it. Let's try not to use it. What's next? Make sure we have the hand axe on. Yeah. 
That helps. In the next chapter, we better get the ability to start buying some staves. I mean, the damage output's good, but yeah, that hit 50% must hurt that guy, huh? Oh, rude. First off, how fucking dare you? They warned me. This one... will be fine. Because I don't... Yeah, it doesn't even look like flyers get the... get bonuses from the fort. What has the highest hit? Looks like the Iron Lance. 86%. I will protect you. Not bad. HP, strength, dex, defense, resistance, luck, and build. else can reach you I'm getting hungry what's the hit chance hundred okay damage is zero though so can't actually do that that's also zero so yeah we'll actually have to use uh, saline yes is this where I want you put you right here 32 damage, girl. I love it. 16 doubles. Yes. All in the name of peace. Okay, the real worry is uh, the group on the left, though. So why are you doing more damage here? It's because you're next to... It's because you're ne next to Alir. That's what it is. I've taken some hits. Can you get broke on the counterattack? Ooh, that's a lot of damage. Not sure we want to do that. Okay, how are we going to deal with it? How are we going to deal with it? Kind of need your damage output, unfortunately. And nobody can do 12 by themselves right now, can they? So three units are going to have to do this. You can do 10. You can do 4 because the resistance is really strong. And can you do 12? 9. What's your hit chance? 73? Ooh.
take this. <laughs> Damn, that miss. Um, alright. Somebody might be going down here. Oh, man. And one of them's going to be able to take that fort, too. Need some help? Yeah, that just Thanks was not assist. a good, good set of events there. Deck speed resistance. Might end up having to rewind. Grants avoidance plus 15 at a cost of a crit minus 10 when using a sword. Sword agility 2. Mage will be able to finish off you. So Saline will do work against this guy on the next turn, I think. If she's close enough. Do we want to use another vulnerary? I'm going to say yes. How embarrassing. Don't cry for me. I think... Yep, that bites big time. Divine one. Yeah, I was hoping Alir would be able to take out at least one of those other guys to mitigate damage and hopefully also block them in such a way that they wouldn't be able to get attacked there. Now, I didn't check the damage on you. You, if we didn't take you out. Yeah, we might have lost a character either way in that situation, so. Because I didn't fully check all of those, but. Um, let's see, where... That's where the reinforcements came in, right there. I'm actually okay with the reinforcements here. Say the word. I grow weary. away again I should have put him here and I could have put you there and did a chain guard but that's okay that would have been the more optimal thing to do I think Let's just go ahead and skip. Let 
let me help. <laughs> I'll take this. You have a throwing axe? Nope. Okay. This is nothing. Okay, spear guy would be able to break you. Is it go time? That's right. You can't finish this unit. How far can you get? Hold on, hold on. We can we can do this differently. Your move is four. One, two, three, four. So if you finish this unit, Celine can probably finish the other guy. You were beautiful while you lasted. All right, Kellum. Two point oh. I will do what I must. Get your loss. God, I hate that bubble dress, dude. I hate it. Everything about her design is... Everything else about her design is fine. It's a little bit loud on the crown, too, but... I could live with that. But that dress... Oh, it sucks. Let them go after Alir. He has the advantage. And actually, I want her to get the level up. So you'll take a little bit of damage here. But that's okay. Oh, I didn't even realize you were breaking. Okay, never mind. I keep on expecting these Pegasi to have lances. <laughs> they don't always have lances. Pretty weak. You know what they say about assumptions. Let's hope there's not another set of reinforcements. Gentle flower. I wonder what that is. Okay, so you can't even do damage to this guy. I see. So does that mean you can't break? Okay. They hurt you a lot more than you hurt him. Okay, good. You can reach. That will make all the difference. Wow, 
what a lovely scene. Just in case. One comes here, you could be in danger, but since they don't get uh, to move as soon as they come in, we can adjust as needed. Thank you. Okay, let's also find out if talk is a full action or if you can talk and then do uh, things afterwards. Chloe, I am relieved to see you're all right. You too, Princess Celine. I was able to find Alfred and the Divine Dragon, no less. After that, the Divine One summoned Emblem Celica from within my ring. A noble dragon summoning ancient spirits to save the day. That sounds just like a fairy tale. It does. Now that I have this power, let's give this story a happy ending, shall we? Let's do it. Okay. So yeah, it looks like it still does give you an action. So I'm assuming that if we were able to make an attack on somebody, we would also have been able to do that. Might have to test that out proper later, but... Okay, so pulling in with Chloe might be our best option here. You wouldn't be able to hit any of the... You wouldn't be able to hit this fort. I wonder if you're going to hold still. Mages are going to be the only way to kill you. So it's going to be between Selene and um, Clan. I won't get lost. Okay, moving already. So you'll have advantage against swords, so we want to avoid probably having a leer in danger here. You might be too soft for this guy. This guy probably hits pretty hard. His speed, you're definitely not going to be doubling anybody. So 19, your defense is 5. Okay. Okay, you can survive a hit. Does he have any, like, abilities that might alter that? Ooh. Ooh, I didn't think to check if he had other weapons. Okay, that's going to be a 24. Minus 5, 19 damage? Ooh, you have 1 HP. Lucky us. Reduces damage from effectiveness. 
Okay, that would be axes, but magic should still be very, very effective against you. Defense 16, defense 6. So you're an axe fighter. You're not even you're not really a tank. You're an armored unit. We could always see Let's see if Please Warp Ragnarok comes back, or if since we used it once during this fight, if we no longer get it. Okay, so it's each time you get a charge. Alright, since it's not able to fully kill, we're not going to do it right now. Um, next turn, we'll be able to finish this guy, though. Too bad there's no pair up. Pair her up with him so that she can move faster. Soon I'll be a legend. The man who captured the princess of Pyrenee. What? 66%. Okay, you can get close enough. Emblem engage. <laughs> Grant me strength. Can't fight back because he switched out his ranged spear. So we don't even have to worry about that right now, which is good. Um, let's see, are there other actions that I need to take? I don't think so. I think we're giving it this to you. We can do this. There we go. Louis, thank goodness. Princess Saline. How relieved I am to see you unharmed. Hmm? You seem... different. The Divine Dragon brought Emblem Celica forth from my ring. I am imbued with her strength. Pardon? The Divine Dragon is here? Indeed. I will explain everything later. For now, let us restore order here. I promise I will never leave you behind again. Come, let us fight together. As you wish. Princess Saline and Emblem Celica. What a pair. Alright, so also the alternative, um, if if you had found yourself in a situation where he still had his javelin and he was able to like kill somebody like Saline or your other mages, your move would be to bring in an axe and break him first. And then you'd be in good shape. That was fun. I would have won, you know, if they'd given me real soldiers. Not your best. Dex, speed, and defense, huh? Not a great level up. Makes sense. Yeah, she's definitely MVP. 
She did a lot of good work in that fight. All right. And this is where we're going to end this episode. So thank you all for being here. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And chapter four is done. Have a good one, everybody. I'd like to give a very special shout out to my patron supporters, Darren York, ZTD, Seventh Son, Len, Knife Namase, Kyle the Monarch, Andrew Smith, Molly, Chris Murphy, JW, and Jordan and Emily Hill. If you would also like to join this tier or any others, check out my memberships or my Patreon in the description down below.